names are Sophia and CJ, and this is our ecology project on the human effects on the environment. In this presentation, we will be talking about the Walkerton tragedy. Within this video, we will be answering the following questions. Question number one. What was the environmental problem? Question number two. When and where did this environmental problem occur? Question number three. What caused the environmental problem? Question number four. What specific damage was done to the environment? Question number five. What was done to help the situation? Question number six. What was the recovery time for the environment? And finally, question number seven. What were the public's reactions? On May 2000, Walkerton, Ontario's water supply was contaminated with a bacteria called Escherichia coli, a.k.a. E. coli. It all started in early April, when there was a massive rainfall. The rainfall also went towards the farm, where the farmer had added lots of fertilizer to his plants to help them grow faster. The fertilizer ended up being washed with the rain into well number 5, where along with well number 6 and well number 7, the water went straight to the Walkerton Public Utility Center. This is also known as sedimental pollution. And although the water did not go to well number 7 or 6, the main resource for water for Walkerton, Ontario was from well number 5. Frank and Stan Cobell were the head of the PUC at that time. And at that time, they gave out false reports about the water being safe to drink, despite the water testing positive in the lab for E. coli. Although there was minimal damage to the environment, being the water polluted, the citizens were extremely affected. Seven people died from this incident and about 2,500 were diagnosed with an illness such as fatty diarrhea and gastrointestinal infection. In order to help clean the water supply, there was more chlorine added to the water in order to kill the E. coli bacteria. There was also a six-month boil water alert telling anyone in the city to boil the tap water before drinking it. The recovery time for this environment was approximately six months before the water was somewhat safe to drink. The government of Ontario gave the city of Walkerton $25 million, but in order to clean all the water, $155 million were needed. After the reports from Dr. Maria McKinch, the region's 
Medical officer of health and Justice Dennis O'Connor, the a reporter. The citizens outrage, causing Stan and Frank Coble to be charged for false report on the water condition. Stan was charged one year of jail, while Frank was charged nine months of house arrest. Thank you for watching and listening to our presentations. All links for any reference material will be in the description below.